A new report says doctors might have cured a baby of HIV for the first time in history. Anthony here for D News, and this is potentially a huge achievement in medical science. A report released yesterday by John Hopkins University details how a two-year-old child in Mississippi was cured of HIV that it had at birth. So the deal is this, the child's mother had not received any medical care while she was pregnant. She also didn't know that she had HIV. So that means she didn't receive the drugs that a mother's normally given during pregnancy to reduce the risk of transferring HIV to her baby. And since the delivery team didn't have any time to take the usual precautions in this case, they immediately transferred the baby to the University of Mississippi Medical Center in case the virus had transferred. Now normally an infant that young is only given preventative medications to keep symptoms in check, but because the baby was at an unusually high risk, the doctors at the center decided to take an unusual course of action and they put the baby on three aggressive antiretroviral drugs only 30 hours after its birth. Now that isn't ever done, and that's an important thing to remember here. They kept the baby on the drugs and kept testing for HIV, and after 29 days, there were no detectable signs of the virus gone. They kept the baby on treatments, but the mother began missing appointments when it was 18 months old, and they finally got to test the baby again at 23 months, and they expected to see an uptick in the virus, but there wasn't one. The child still tested negative. So this is awesome, right? The virus was functionally cured in this kid, but there are still some variables here. First off, a lot of children with HIV positive parents also test positive for HIV, and it's usually just because of antibodies transferred over from the mother. Doesn't always mean the baby actually has the virus. Doctors are pretty sure that this child was actually infected, but that's just something worth noting. The second thing to know is that this might not be a cure in the strictest sense, okay? By putting the baby on such intense medication so early, some doctors are saying the baby wasn't infected in the truest sense of the word. The virus didn't get a chance to hold and build up what's called a reservoir. And that's why experts say that this breakthrough isn't relevant to adults with HIV, but that still means that getting aggressive early on can stop the virus from taking hold in a baby. Continued testing of the child is gonna be required too, just to make sure that this is really gone for good. So it's not a general cure. One doctor called it a hypothesis generating case. Usually babies aren't put on retrovirals for six weeks after they're born because doctors wanna know that they're really infected and it's not just those antibodies. This shows that there might be a reason to start them on aggressive medication immediately, no matter what. All in all, 330,000 babies were born with HIV or acquired it during breastfeeding in 2011. So anything that can reliably and safely cut down on that number is a huge win. More details about the case are gonna be released this week. So check out the links below if you wanna keep up with the story and subscribe for more D News.